Hi, it's Dwyer. Black7777.blogspot.com Let's talk about the Zimmerman case. I'm an attorney. I followed the case. I personally believe that George Zimmerman assassinated Trayvon Martin. I believe he stalked Trayvon Martin. I believe that he um, had racial animus. I believe he's on the phone with the cops. I believe the choice of words is important. He uh, doesn't even know Trayvon, just another citizen, but yet he's calling him a punk and all this other stuff. I don't believe that prior crime in the neighborhood justifies that kind of racial prejudice toward an African-American who just happens to be walking through that neighborhood. Um, I have little doubt that if this country were a majority black country, this verdict would be um, different. Uh, I also don't believe in coincidences, right? And I, I just don't believe that a guy would be on the phone calling someone he doesn't know a punk and admitting on the phone that he's following that individual and then, of course, hangs up the phone and just happens to stop going after the individual happens to just stay where he is and that this individual then attacks him. That seems to me to be a legal defense concocted to hide a crime. So understand I have no doubt in my mind that George Zimmerman murdered Trayvon Martin. Now that said in court, it's different, right? In court, a defendant doesn't have to even mount a defense. The case actually has to be proven by the prosecution. So it's the prosecution's burden to establish that between the time when George Zimmerman hangs up the phone with the police and Trayvon Martin is shot and killed, right? It's the prosecution's burden to show that George Zimmerman continued to follow Trayvon Martin and actually followed through with shooting him, right? Understand. Much of what's been reported in the press is really irrelevant. If George Zimmerman attacked Trayvon Martin, then Trayvon Martin would have the legal right to stand his ground, to beat the hell out of Zimmerman, whether he's on the bottom of Zimmerman or on top of Zimmerman. Right? He would, you know, Zimmerman's wounds would be consistent with his victim defending himself. So for me, the focus isn't on who's screaming on the 911 call tape. That's not my focus. My focus is not on who's on top as the two men scuffle. No, my focus is on what happened immediately before the scuffling. Simply put, if George Zimmerman stalk Trayvon Martin and cause the confrontation then he should legally be found guilty of murder. The question that needs to be asked is did the prosecution prove that? For all the witnesses, the girl on the phone, the people who heard the screams, is there a witness who can testify about what Zimmerman did after he hung up the phone right before Trayvon gets killed. I don't believe there is. Right? And I do believe in a murder prosecution that it's asking a bit much 
to say to a jury, we want you to take a leap here and make a reasonable inference that Zimmerman continued to follow Trayvon Martin, right? And so let me say this case to me falls into that gray area. Do I believe Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin in cold blood? Yes, I do. You know, I hope I'm not confusing anyone, uh, but yes, I believe a murder was committed here, right? I believe if Trayvon Martin were white, he would not have been shot. He would not have been stalked, right? If he were white wearing a hoodie, he would not have been stalked. In other words, I believe race played a big part in this case, right? I don't know whether George Zimmerman knows he's racist or not. I know he's racist, right? By these actions, right? I, I'm, I'm positive that he hesitated less to take out his gun to shoot Trayvon Martin because of the color of Trayvon Martin's skin, right? As I said, I personally have no doubt about that. Let me say this too. There's a weight gap between these two guys that you need to be aware of. Understand that George Zimmerman outweighed Trayvon Martin by more than 40 pounds. Also, I know in the press they want you to believe that Trayvon Martin is some huge hulking guy. Right? Some big guy who was very threatening. Trayvon Martin was 5'11". Trayvon Martin weighed less than 160 pounds. And so to me, being black, it's just not plausible that a black teenager who's been stalked would then turn around and attack George Zimmerman. That just doesn't fly with me. Maybe it flies in some communities that believe that black people are inherently dangerous and thin-skinned, but it doesn't fly on my radar, right? And so I believe this legal defense was concocted. I think George Zimmerman thought carefully about what he told police. I believe he stalked and murdered Trayvon Martin. But, and it's a big but, I'm not sure if the prosecution met their burden in showing that when George Zimmerman hung up the phone, he then continued to pursue Trayvon Martin. All of the other evidence doesn't seem to link that missing link in the chain. Right? George Zimmerman claimed he was attacked. It would be great if we had just one witness who could say, no, he wasn't. I saw him step to and hit Trayvon Martin. Right? The absence of that one witness, in my opinion, is what this case hinged on. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at black7777.blogspot.com. Thanks for stopping by.